All right, one zero seven nine. The end. The wake up call. Here with Jesse McCartney again with a whole room full. Yeah. Room full of listeners. You got the show again tonight at the uh, Community Theater. Beautiful place. Beautiful place for a show. Probably one of the most beautiful theaters. It's here. a really nice venue, man. Yeah, it's very cool. You're gonna be with uh, with uh, Jordan, Jordan Sparks. Sparks. Tickets still available. And I heard Prima J is opening up for you guys too. So they were just Welcome. recently in Sacktown. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they'll be there too. It'll be a big party. Um. Couple things I want to talk about. Teen Choice. Teen Choice. Tell us about that. You were there. It was great. Teen Choice was fun. I, I presented with Catherine McPhee and I uh, presented uh, most blinged out MySpace page to Ryan Sheckler. He's a buddy of mine if you want. Now, what's the criteria for a blinged out MySpace? To be honest, I don't know. I'm not one, I'm not a lot one. of comments or sparkly things. I was just the messenger. I just presented the award. I didn't really judge. Uh, Did you want to personally. present that one? What's that? If they would have come to me and be it's like, the Most Teen Choice Awards, you know, if they, would I want to pre present that, at, you know, at a Grammy award show or like one of the? No, I mean, but it was Teen Choice. Gavin yeah. just recently found out about Ryan Sheckler, didn't you, Gavin? I did. Yeah, like Ryan. <laughs> On MTV? He's a pro. Oh, yeah. I got uh, him. I you have a theory wanna... that MTV <laughs> will give anyone a reality show. Like, if you just show up and say, but, hi, I exist, they'll give you a reality but show. Ryan's a really nice guy. You just said that. Yeah, no, he's a cool guy. He's, he's cool got guy. a bling down my speed. What is uh, something like uh, maybe being at the show that we wouldn't have seen that on TV? Um, there, You guys know Rain Wilson, who from The yeah. Office, and he's got that new movie coming out, The Rocker, which I'm very excited to see. But he's also... Uh, he comes out and he's presenting, I guess, the part in the show where you can ask the Jonas Brothers a question. Right. And he has these three dolls, of Nick, Joe, and uh, uh, Kevin. <laughs> and, and he has the three of them. What's his name? He's presenting. No, I love the three of them. He's presenting and <laughs> they cut to commercial break after he's done. But he didn't know that they cut to commercial break. He's just standing there and doesn't know what to do. So he just starts <laughs> juggling the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Everybody in the audience lost it. It was hilarious. You know what the sad part, though? Oh, go ahead. No, no. It was just it was a, it was a really fun show. I took my little sister. I took my my brother. It was a little family event. Do you still get like a uh, you know like geek out? Is that the word? Like do you, do you meet yeah. celebrities? Who did you meet backstage that was like, oh my god, I'm meeting blank? I met L Cool J, which was the, which was really cool. Nice guy. That's cool. Yeah, backstage, he kind of gave me the, the nod, like, what's up? <laughs> and then who else, who, else, who else did I meet while I was there? I wanted to meet Rachel Wilson. She was standing right in front of me. And I was like, Do you get shy in that situation? Or are you just did too many yeah, bodyguards? Yeah, just yeah, it's just kind of like, those situations are always awkward, you know. And like especially especially when somebody like introduces you for you for yourself, you know, like yeah. a publicist or something. It's just always a little uncomfortable. And she was talking to one of her girlfriends, but I really I'd like to meet her. Why didn't you just say hi? Because I was, because it was, I don't know, there were fans <laughs> everywhere, and there were, I was with yeah. my sister, and she was, over, she was, it was just awkward. I would have, it was just really She's awkward. from the OC. She would have loved it. I mean, she just would have probably <laughs> thought that was the greatest thing. She probably would have thought you were a major fan of hers, and she probably is a major fan of yours, and you guys could have had, like, a little love connection. <laughs> you guys could have You missed your chance. What are you thinking? Yeah, I, did, I, may, may, I may have, I may have. No, ah, see? <laughs> Go on Craigslist. Are Missed they? opportunity. Are they? If you're a star from the OC and was recently at the Teen Choice Awards, I'm looking for you. <laughs> so she was on the cover of GQ recently, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, Which so what? Was, uh, and she was in Jumper. I don't know. Are you, regret are you regretting this right now? You, you are like regretting this. Yeah. Broken heart. You hear that? You're like, if I would have wasted so much time with LL Cool J. <laughs> Gonna get me. <laughs> I mean, I would have been totally cool with. I mean, would you guys have all accepted that if he was like, "Hey guys, it's uh, Jesse. I can't make it to uh, the wake up call this morning. I'm kind of hanging out with Rachel Wilson." Would that have been okay with everybody? No. Yeah. no. no. Okay. You, you made the right decision. It's then. funny um, that you're even going through this because I always thought that celebrities are like they'd look through like People magazine and be like, oh, "She's hot. I want to date her." And they'd get their publicist or something and be like, "Hey, get get her on the phone and ask her if she wants to go to a really fancy restaurant." Really pretentious. And the, and That's what I always thought. Like the, artist celebrity world if, if someone did that to me I'd be like <sighs> that's what Tom Cruise does Gavin <laughs> and look how well that turned out <laughs> <laughs> exactly so Rachel Bilson who, who are the other dream girls on your list of people you, who, who, how about this who would not a list of uh, I don't want to treat women like that but who was on your list of people you'd be too shy to ask out but you'd love to Christina Ricci mm. 
entire thing. For ever since Casper. <laughs> Should we leave everybody? <laughs> no, me too. Me too. She's got that that off look. All right. That's, that's very. All right, all right, how about this? Let's reverse it. Are there any celebrities that you know are interested in you, and you're just like, okay, uh, please don't intro introduce me to this person. Anyone I don't like that? Think so. No one like that. He's not gonna admit it. Well, I'm just wondering if there's anyone like, oh wow, are they hitting on me? Or because I heard Kathy Bates is interested. No. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> what type of girl do you, do you look for? Um, What's your dream kind of girl? I, I, Ladies, listen up. These questions. What's, I, everyone wants to know this stuff, though, because everyone wants to have that Well, shot. he obviously likes brunettes, because both those girls are brunettes. Uh, eh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not a... I don't... I was going to say, because we have a lot of brunettes in the room right now. Yeah, there are a lot of brunettes in the room. And there's a little blonde over there named Leah. <laughs> Hi, Leah. Uh, <laughs> Who's your biggest fan? Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've sort of just been randomly... Dating. I haven't. I'm not in anything serious right now. Yeah. But. It's probably better that way. How about yeah. this? We'll make it simpler. Instead of uh, seeing what you like, say uh, you're dating some girl and you're hanging out and you say, hey, let's watch my favorite movie. What do you put on to hang out with the girl? Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. He's a romantic. <laughs> that is a romantic <laughs> movie. <laughs> yep. Favorite oh, all time on. CD. Favorite all time CD to just chill and listen to. Really? Thriller, Michael Jackson. All right, going back. Uh, also romantic. <laughs> and say you want to impress your girl. It's her birthday. Say, so, you know, I'm not going to get you a gift. I'm going to take you shopping. Which, which store do you like your girls to shop at? Spencer's. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were asking me. How about any, any brands out there? Anything that would make you go like, oh, I don't know. Nothing I, like that. I like to cook. I like you do? To, I do like to cook, so I'm still working on that. I have an idea. Hey, Leah. Hey, Williams Leah, come on over here. Leah's your biggest fan. Leah, we're going to try something here real quick. Leah. No, Leah. Come, over here. Leah. Come over here real quick. Stand next to Jesse. Jesse McCartney on the Wake Up Call. This is Leah. Leah, you're how old again? Seven. You're seven, and really, be honest. Don't lie to me. Are you a, are you Jesse's biggest fan? Yes. You promise? Yes. Right hand in the air. That's left, left, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I swear I'm Jesse's biggest fan. I swear I'm Jesse's okay. biggest Let's biggest fan. Okay. Let's just do a little, little uh, make, land of make-believe here, okay? Uh, if you don't mind, Jesse. No problem. Okay. You guys are hanging out. Let's just say you're uh, eight, you're 18, so you're old let's, enough. Let's just say I'm three times your age. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, just say this. Jesse, will you make me dinner? <laughs> ask, ask him. That. And I want to see what I... Will you make me dinner? No problem, Leo. Hey, what would you like to eat this evening? Pizza bagels. <laughs> <laughs> ask him what's on the menu, because he likes to cook. Let's find out what he cooked for you. What do you want to cook for me? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Are you? Do you like seafood? Are you more of like a chicken nugget kind of? <laughs> chicken fingers and fries. Chicken fingers and fries. Mac and cheese. Kind of lady. Can you whip up a happy meal? Say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. So, uh, what's what's your favorite food? Bacon. Bacon. Would you make, <laughs> would you make Leah, your seven-year-old biggest fan, would you make her the romantic meal of bacon? You can get a little bacon, ricotta, and fig. Nothing says love like bacon. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Kids. Well, look. Uh, give Leah, this is your chance. Give him a hug. Let's give him a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Hey, guys. Let's, let's, uh, everyone, thank you to Jesse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, playing along with, a, with the seven-year-old in that. Uh, he, was, he was not playing, Jason. This is all real. All right, the reality is they got married last night. Uh, oh, we're gonna That's play uh, illegal. Jesse's <laughs> new single. It's called "It's Over." It's called "It's Over." Yeah. Everyone, Jesse McCartney, make some noise. <laughs> Dot com that'll be up there a little bit later today. Jesse, uh, have fun at the show tonight. Tell Jordan Sparks we said hello. And uh, here's here's a new single. It's 107.9 The End. And the wake-up call.